Protect your house and yard from a spring insect invasion. Oh. Our friends from Trad's Pest Control have tips and tools to help you in this. So welcome George McCall, service manager, and Ryan Bennett, sales manager. Hey guys, thank you so very much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Glad to be here. Yeah. All right, so how long has Trad's Pest Control been in the community? Well, uh, this April will be 53 years. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Been serving Jacksonville for a long time. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. That's cool. All right, so how how necessary is termite protection? Very, very necessary. You're protecting your most important asset. Right. Um, there's 20 different species in the state of Florida for termites. What? Yeah. Really? And I think we're the biggest uh, active activity state. Is that right? Uh, without a doubt, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you look at this, this is a nest of a Formosan termite. It's an invasive species, Whoa. not native to our area. Oh, so they're even more of a bummer. Yeah, oh. this was in a wall that George took out. George found this bad boy. What? <laughs> This is in somebody's wall. Yes. In, San, in their house. In yes. San Marco. Yes. <laughs> in San Marco. You yep. just sold them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Jacksonville. I mean. <laughs> okay, so uh, so let's talk about pest control. Like, how really necessary is it, not just for termites, but for other pests? Florida's a jungle. I it mean. truly <laughs> is, man. I mean, we've got so many different species of insects. Um, George can kind of talk. We definitely tailor our, uh, oh. our treatments for those different well, insects. We have. Uh, it's so many invasive species now. It's not just the standard like it used to be 30 years ago with just regular ants and roaches, but we yeah. have so many different imported species. In of the ants. last 30 years, that's happened, really? Oh, yeah. That's really? Been yeah, happening. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So I, it's like real quick because you guys know what, which ones they are. So what are some of the pests that are invasive that have, that were not here 30 years ago? Well, uh, the. Uh, the Termite, different termite species yeah, for I'm sure. Yeah, by yeah I mean termites well, for, for sure. That's what we've changed the most on over yeah. the years. Uh, just the ant species, uh, the uh, Argentine ants, the uh, crazy ants. So. <laughs> really? So how, how, do, you, how do you bring right? ants? Like, I mean, it's so interesting. I'll have to look that up. That's crazy. So, what unique services do you guys offer? So, all our services are, are unique, right? And they all mm -hmm. kind of tailor to different things. So, okay. um, our owner kind of handpicks different blends for the uh, lawn service. We cover sedges and crabgrasses. A lot of companies don't. Um, pest control. We are river friendly products. Things like that. So we try to be really safe and target the pest specific, right? So gotcha. every treatment has its own unique treatment style. So pest, lawn, termite, we all kind of cover different things. Kind of like the Centricon targets your termite. So different different levels for different products. Yeah, so how does this work? So this is actually an always active bait system. So it's got, if you can see that, that fell out there, um, an active bait yeah. stick in there. Uh, we put that these in the ground and the termites will eat on it. This is kind of one that's been eaten on. Oh, so that's I a good see. thing, right? We yeah, want that activity. Absolutely. So it's eliminating the colony from the property. So it's really designed to kind of help keep them away from the house. The good thing about it is it's green, it's river Correct. friendly, and uh, unless you're an insect, it's not going to harm you. <laughs> that's, um, that's cool. All right, let's jump back to the crabgrass. You said something that really sparked my interest. Sure. So you can treat crabgrass. What, what do you mean? So there's different types of weeds, right? A lot of broadleaf weeds most, most companies cover, but we will treat with certain products for certain grasses like crabgrass and nut sedges. They're just different invasives and they've got different makeup, right? So uh, when you're treating for broadleaf weeds, it's a little easier where sedges and things mimic grass, so uh -huh. it's harder to treat, so you have to kind of tailor the program for it. Very there's a lot of little nitty gritty with it, but we get to it. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. That's really cool. This is all very interesting. I really appreciate you guys coming on today. Yeah. So mm -hmm. where can folks go if they want to hire your services? So they can go online at Google. They can find out. We have a website, Trads Pest Control. Uh -huh. um, you know, text, email, call. There's a local call center. We're always there ready to answer the phones. Yeah. Um, you'll always get somebody even after hours. And the number's right there on the screen. There it is. Very <laughs> cool. All right. Well, George and Ryan, thank you so very much. I really appreciate yes, it, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you Thank so much. You. Jordan, what do we got coming up?